Everybody knows working with dull chisels is more dangerous than working with sharp ones, since it requires more force to achieve the same result. However, sharpening the chisels can be a challenging task, since it requires skill and time to get the blade razor sharp. To simplify the task, we decided to make a jig for sharpening the chisel edges, share the process and the plans for this build. Our goal was to make the jig out of items we had in the workshop, a little bit of plywood, some M8 screws and bolts, and a pair of ball bearings we had left from the caster wheel project. With the available materials in mind, I played around with the Fusion 360 and made this simple design. It has the base panel that we could clamp the chisel to using this small plywood panel and the star knobs. And of course the bearing module that will support a jig and simplify the sharpening. The jig should be great not only for different sized chisels but also for hand plane blades. Anyway we had the concept ready and it was time to test if the jig would work as well as I had imagined. So I found a suitable 9mm thick plywood offcut for the jig and went to cut all the components on the CNC router. As always I started the cuts with the screw holes, pockets for the M8 screws and the mortises. However, I wanted to make a small test with the outline cuts. Usually for projects made out of 9mm thick plywood, I use a 3mm router bit and cut the component contours in two passes, each at 4.5mm depth. For a while I've been wondering if I could make the contour cuts in one pass, cutting the whole material thickness without breaking the router bit. So this would be a great project to test it out. To my surprise the bit could withstand the abuse and made all the contour cuts without breaking and the cut edges looked very nice. Anyway, we have the parts for the chisel sharpening jig and we can start assembling it. As the first thing, I installed the nuts in the base panel and attached the bearing axis supports. And then I proceeded with installing the mate screw and attaching the washers, bearings and hex nuts. Assembling the bearing module before attaching it to the base would have been faster approach, but with a little bit of struggle, we had the main part of the jig made. After testing it out on the workbench, I realized we had a problem. When tilting the jig, the bearing support part made contact with the table, so I measured the bearing and realized it was smaller than the bearing diameter I had set when designing the jig. To fix the issue, I quickly redesigned the bearing support part, made a new program for the CNC, attached the material and Recut the components. After a quick cleanup with the sandpaper and taking apart the bearing module, we could attach the new parts. This time I assembled the bearing module before attaching it to the main panel. Now everything was working fine and it was time to attach the hold down panel, the star knob screws and secure a chisel in place. The cool thing about this jig is we can slide the chisel in different positions to adjust the angle we want to sharpen the blade at. It will simplify making nice and consistent honing bevels. Alright, let's test how well the jig works by sharpening this chisel. For sharpening, I'm using DIY whetstones I made by gluing a waterproof sandpaper on a plywood offcut. Since the chisel was quite dull, I started sharpening on a 120 grit panel, then slowly worked my way up to 2000 grit sandpaper. And I have to say, this was way more enjoyable process than trying to balance the chisel by hand while sharpening and risking my fingers. So I strongly recommend making one of these for sharpening your chisels. You will find the free CNC files for this project on our website aribabox.com